For years, Texas has been known as the third coast destination for the entertainment industry. Texas locations are an attraction for Hollywood investors, but the biggest draw is the workforce and production facilities that are already well established. Many Texas residents have dedicated careers as actors and behind the scenes crews working on every kind of production from feature films to television commercials. However, business has come to a halt as other states such as Louisiana, New Mexico, and Michigan have created higher financial incentives that attract the high dollar investors. As a result, many people are leaving Texas to work in other states. About 25% of our workforce is actually working in those states. So it's really hard to grow an industry when a major segment of your, your workforce is actually working out of state. And if that keeps happening and keeps happening, which it has been, eventually those people are going to have to relocate. And, and that's that will be the real tragedy because our strongest strength, other than our you know having beautiful Texas to shoot in is our workforce. We really feel that the entertainment industry and all its different manifestations is going to play a key role in the Texas economy. Texas has had a legitimate film industry for since the 1920s. More recently, I think maybe the more pertinent, is the last 20 years because now we have such well-educated film crews from post-production technologies, sound, digital media, special effects, being a gaffer or being a grip writer, some of the top writers in the industry live in Texas. It really rivals any other film center in the world. People don't think of it that way. Is that it's, it's not quite as big of an industry as oil and gas. It's, it's a large industry and with some very, very well-trained people that have been doing it a long time. For the upcoming 2009 legislation, the Texas Motion Picture Alliance is supporting a new bill with a more competitive financial incentive plan for Texas. Film industry professionals will come together on March 4th, otherwise known as Lobby Day, to convince legislators to pass this new bill. Texas Motion Picture Alliance was formed back in 2006 as an advocacy group for the moving image industry in Texas to try to create uh, an incentive package which Texas did not have at the time, to help bring business back into Texas that we've been losing steadily over the last six or seven years. We have to be very sensitive to what we do as a state because we're trying to be real physical responsible to all the taxpayers within the state so that we're not asking for an industry subsidy, but we're looking for a way to attract the business into the state that pays back money to the state. Does everyone have March 4th on their calendar? Okay, if you don't have March 4th on your calendar, get it on your calendar. Also, if you have March 3rd in the evening on your calendar, because the last thing you want to do is run over to the legislature without a plan. It is competitive in the Capitol. It is competitive. Everybody else over there wants money. Tonight is the uh, Central Texas Regional Meeting, and we are primarily here to remind our participants of Lobby Day coming up, uh, to get people excited about Lobby Day and to sign up as many members as we can. There are legislators out there and other people who absolutely don't get our business. You know, if we're not a factory or we're not a retail store, then they don't understand. But the bottom line about uh, about television and movies and commercials and film is that they put food on the table. They create jobs. And they fund the tax base, which means schools and social programs and everything else. And it doesn't just directly affect someone like you and me. It affects people who support that, the carpenters who build the sets. Our jobs are really threatened. A lot of people have already moved away to New Mexico and Louisiana. We've lost a lot of crew members and they just couldn't hang on any longer. We have something, we have a very different mission. We have a tremendous industry that we're trying to maintain and keep. And so we don't have to throw 40% at them to get people to come here. People want to come here already. They want to work with you guys again and again and again. Formed in Austin in 2005, the Alliance is a cooperative of Central Texas casting directors, talent agents, and acting coaches. And they also are experiencing a change in business. We get calls from people all the time who want to come here, but just can't because financially they can't say to their investors, well, yeah, but we really like Austin because that doesn't cut it. And so the hotels are losing business. All, all the businesses are losing business based on us not being busy. I hate telling actors to go to Louisiana if they want film work. I want them to stay here. As a coach, you know, you want people to really apply themselves because they'll really get something from it. 
it's a great time to train because you, you have the time now. If there's not, if there's not any work happening, then train because when the opportunity arises, you'll be ready. And then understand that your agent, there's nothing wrong with your agent, that you're not getting work. It's, it's out of their hands, so don't get mad at your agent. And if you can't get an agent, understand that's why. They, they're probably not going to sign you if they're not putting the people they currently have out on auditions. Why would they want to sign you? I like having my daughter raised here because the values of Texas are what I grew up with. Um, and I'm really fortunate for that. And there are a lot of families just like mine, my talent, not just the kids, but the adults, they choose to be here. Um, they're not gonna have any work. No work means not being able to pay money into the state of Texas for goods or services. Um, so that's what's gonna happen if we don't get incentives passed. The Austin Film Studios recently renovated their production facilities, hoping to draw more productions. This means so much to us, that live in a city like Austin where you know, everyone's behind something like this. You know, everyone understands what it means to our economy and to our culture. And over the past eight years, we've had something like 50 feature films come through here for a total economic impact of a billion dollars. The industry will be back, and we're going to have these great facilities. And in the meantime, I'm, I'm sure that there will be low-budget films, commercials, and you know, lots and lots of activity here. We're not going to be as competitive as uh, New Mexico and Louisiana, or some may actually uh, consider how uh, you know, their generosity is actually to their detriment because their programs don't seem to be making money. They seem to be costing their states money. But again, it comes from the point of them trying to create a brand new industry in their state, not to invigorate it the way we are. Lobby Day is fast approaching, and many film professionals are hoping their efforts will help restore Texas' reputation as the entertainment's third coast. We're ready to rock and roll. We, we, we can go tomorrow. As soon as the permits are issued, we're ready. Become a DocuBlogger. Log on to DocuBloggers.org to share your opinions and story ideas, or get out your camera and create your own DocuBlog.